Hi again, this is Mike, the Philosopher Engineer. Well, welcome back. I know I'm getting back on my, uh, getting back on the horse in terms of making videos. I know I've been uh, kind of a little delinquent in that area. I have sh uh, shared some nice uh, sunrises. Hopefully you've enjoyed some of those. They get a lot more views than my videos. Uh, probably not surprising, they're, they're quite beautiful. Uh, but I do want to get back uh, to sharing my message on a regular basis and having a theme each month. Uh, the world's changing around us. There's a lot of good things going on. There's a lot of things uh, I'm probably annoying. I, I pretty much turn off the TV and the news and I try to focus on, you know, what I'd like to see. So I see some good things happening. Uh, my business is picking up. My projects are picking up. Um, in the area of engineering product development, I see a lot of activity. I hear a lot of activity. That's a good thing. But a lot has changed. And this crisis in 2020 has been just a wild year. But I'm an optimist and I like to look at the positive side. So for this month, August, today's August 1st, the theme that I thought made the most sense is a new beginning. Yes, some of us already started growing again. Maybe some of us are uh, putting the pieces back together because our businesses may have been uh, you know, damaged or decimated and um, we have to then start over again. And when we start over again, it's an opportunity to re reflect on how to do things that are better. Uh, obviously, a lot of us have been doing Zoom meetings and, um, you know, or web meetings of different types and have learned that we don't have to be in the office every hour of every workday. And so it does give us a flexibility, although we also miss getting together. There's, there's just only so much uh, uh, that you can get out of a video conference. So there may be a new combination that we look at. I work with people in many different locations, so that's been a normal for me before this uh, craziness. And when we get back together, some of these may, uh, we may rethink how, how to operate. So a new beginning and a new start. And a big thing I'm focused on is, is our process. How do we make our process better? And that there's really two parts to that. One is really thinking about what is the best process and then uh, making that our standard practice. And, and that's something to talk about. I talk about the right people and the right process. Um, boy, it sure helps. I, I have the good fortune of having a, a great network and I kind of put together an all-star team for each project. And that way um, I don't have to start over with the learning curve. So I have the right people from day one, but we also have the right process. That model is very clear in my mind about how to go faster. And it's the simplest way to look at it is it's proactive. We want to understand things first, break it down into its first principles, understand the fundamentals of the physics, understand each component, and then build it back up again. And then once we understand our product and how it works, um, we identify every single function and then we want to um, understand not only how it works, but how it fails. And once we do that, we can think about and plan and design for reliability ahead of time. That saves a ton of time. So we find our failure modes ahead of time and then there's no surprises or fewer surprises. We don't miss dates. In fact, we can beat dates if we want. So, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, August. It's still a little bit strange. Things are out of, out of kilter, but the economy is picking up and maybe more things are coming to the United States. We might see a, a boom in manufacturing and new product development. So it's a good time to think about um, as we come back together, maybe bring more people back or hire new people. Let's get a better process so we get better performance out of our teams. And they're happier too. When you design a good team and have a good process, it um, energizes and motivates people. So that's something we do, you know, at the simplest level, you can ask yourself, you know, what is the, what's your past experience? How often is a project done on time? How often do you have a problem with a product after it's supposed to be completed? Well, if you're like a lot of our clients and people that I know, there's often problems and, and these are, uh, a lot of these are avoidable with a better, a better process. And if you imagine if you get done early or you're not three months later, how much money will that save? So it's a financial thing as well as a confidence issue and ultimately a great product. Because great products, um, they're a winner for everybody and they make great profits. And that's what we're after and it can be done. I've seen it done, uh, I've seen it not done. So let's aim for that. So August, we have a new beginning. Let's talk about that. That's my personal focus. I'm trying to take all the process that we have. We know exactly how we want to do things in a proactive way, it works. I wanna document that in, a, in, more, in, a, in more of a clear model that I can share with our clients uh, so we can systemize it and they can adopt the parts of it they really like because there, there's certain steps we take that really get you there faster. All right, well, hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful month. Hope your August is good and we start getting back to, you know, um, I don't know, normal life. And that doesn't have to be normal, but uh, 
more of a free life where we can get out and do things and meet together with our friends and our coworkers and really um, do what we love to do. So, all right, have a great week. Thank you very much. Bye.